template is one of the assets that make your work fast and smooth. Even some of the pros do say some of their previous work as a template for future use. In this video, I'm going to share with you my template on how to edit your program video and how you can manipulate it for your own use. Therefore, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss the next update. Thank, Thank you. you. First of all, you will need to copy this link into your browser. Don't worry, it will be placed under this video description. Then you're going to paste it on your browser and open it. So you are going to find out these two files in it. So the first thing to do is to click on this page and you click on download. So you wait for it and you say download anyway. So you will add to your download. So the next thing for you to do is to open your browser and you search for Winra. So you are going to come to this place, download. And the next thing for you to say to do is click on this download Winra and you say download Winra again. So you click on this place that say click here. I'll come to this place and so I'll open it. And the next thing for me to do is to install this Winra because that's what I'm going to use to extract the file I downloaded previously. So I'll say double click on it and I'll install it like this. Install. Okay, done. So once that is done, the next thing for me to do is to head over to the file I downloaded, which is this. So I'm going to right click on it and I'll say extract file okay so it's going to require you to enter a password so all you need to do is to watch this video from the beginning to the end you are going to see a password that will be popping out as just this one you saw you keep seeing the letter we call one after the other and you put it together at the end of the day so once it extracted this is it now you are good to go to open your premiere pro and let me show you how to do that in premiere pro yeah so once you open your premiere pro the next thing for you to do is to open the project and it's going to ask you where the project is so once you open it so i'll say this and open and once it has finished loading offline or so this is what you are going to need for this tutorial to be done so first you need a short video for the introduction you will need a player for the program you are going to need an account details in case for those that want to support and you are going to need the minister's photo i have brought in all the items i need for this template to be used effectively so all i need to do is to replace all of this on the timeline so this is the video i want to use all i need to do is just to scroll through to where i need in the video all i need to do from here is to mark the in point i will click i on my keyboard to mark the in point and i'll scroll through forward a bit and i will say o on my keyboard so to mark the up point so all i need to do is to hold alt key on my keyboard and my left click together and i'll bring it to my timeline on this one so right now you can see it has been replaced here so i will head over to my control panel here and now we do some a little adjustment so this video can fit in this play. So right now I can see that the video has been replaced. It's my own write-up. So in case you have any write-up you want to do, it's just for you to select it, you head over to it, and you write whatever you want to write. And if possible, you want to change the font and any other thing, you will come to graphics here. So once you come to graphics, you come to this edit here. So in this case, you can change the font and you can change the dimension, any other thing you want to change concerning the text. So this is all I want to leave. So I will go back to my editing. I will scroll through the timeline again. So I want to leave the word present. So in this case, I will need to replace this with my program file. This is my program file here. I will hold Alt on my keyboard and left click together and I'll bring it on it like this. So you can see this is it here. So, so right now, let me scroll through and see how I'll do it. Okay, right now it has been done. So now this is another sequence, so I need to open it like this. So once I open it, I can see that there are many sequences inside of it, but there's nothing adding it. First, this is a flyer. I will need to replace this on this again. So I will hold Alt on my keyboard and my left click together, and I will put it like this. So that has been replaced. 
from here how we need to open each one of these sequence and replace it with the minister so i will open this sequence like this and i will head over to the minister's photo that i have here hold alt key and my left two together and i'll put it on it like this as you can see that is it so you have come back to the final sequence you can see it has been done here already okay now i want to write his name i will go to my graphics here and i will click on this name here and i will write his name so that is his name. I will go back to my editing here and I will scroll through the timeline again. So here yeah, I have two ministers that need to be under self. So I will open the second sequence now. So all I need to do is to put, this is the person I want to put there. I will alt on my keyboard and my left click together and I will put it on it like this. So that has been done. I will come to my final sequence as you can see, it has been done. So I will open the third sequence as well. I will replace it with this brother here and this is it over here. And as you can see, if I go back, I can see that it has been done. I will come to the fourth person as well. I will open it. That's how I'm going to keep doing it till I finish it. Right now, as you can see, this photo is not well placed. So the first thing for me to do is to come to this mat here and put it on none. And the next thing for me to do is to click this video and come to the opacity here and make it like 20 so right now i will now come back to this photo and i will do what i will decrease the scale so one thing you need to notice that you can see the little splash here that is how the photo will be i can still increase the photo so that the splash can be full you can see we still have some vacancy here let me just increase it to 65 okay so i just need to bring it down like this a bit so right now i will put it on three again and i will come back to this video and increase the opacity so once you have increased the opacity of the video the next thing for you to do is to come to this place and you move it up a bit so it can show the minister's face so i'm okay with that so let me go to my final sequence and see how it is so i'm okay like that and this is what i have so should in case that you don't have up to this minister that want to minister on that day so you can just delete these ones like this and once you delete them just trim this to this part and you go up here and delete this last thing bone okay so right now we are done with our final sequence go back to my main sequence and as you can see because i deleted that part that is why this is remaining this way so i will just need to trim it back and bring it forth so right now i cannot i will just delete this middle delete and every other thing we put together so this is it so the, page, the video say put in the short video so i will go back to my short video and i will do the same thing i will click on this drag video link alt and left click together and i'll put it on it this way so i will still need to go back to my first control here so as you can see it has been done right now you see account details i will come to my account here alt on my keyboard and left click together and i will put it on it as you can see that is all i will need to replace this bar tone so i will delete this one and i will come to my new item here and i will say bar and tone and i'll say okay i will drag it like this onto my timeline i will uncheck this link selection i will bring only the sound here and i will trim it to this single part I want I will delete the video so right now I have the sound too okay yes so the next thing for me to do is to trim this song i will trim the song to the part and i will trim my out point to the part so once you are done trimming this to the very end you can see that the song here is not showing so i will need to bring in any music i want for this program yeah okay this is the song i want to add body of my praise by this one you come all i need to do is to listen to the song and i will just throw to where i want the song to start i will click i on my keyboard and i will play through and i will is true forward the beats and i'll press o on my keyboard so all i need to do from here is to delete this one here and i'll bring in this song this way like this if by any means you don't like the write up here which is this are you ready to receive from god you click on it this way and you come to edit here and you will see what i've been written here are you ready which is this to receive from which is this and the third text which is god and the fourth text the blessing 
is for everyone. But this song is going to end so sharp. So we need to add a fade out effect. So I will come to my effects here and I will search for exponential fade, which is this. I'm going to bring it to the song at the end this way. So now this will make the song to end in a fade manner. Let us check all we've done from the beginning to the end. Yeah, thank you for watching this video from the beginning to this. This is all I want to share with you in this video. If you have any question concerning this tutorial, you can use the comment section below to ask me any question. I'm available to answer you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you will not miss out in the next one. Thank you.